In 2016, ASU professor William Kimball, a towering figure in paleoanthropology, wrote, from Australopithecus to genus Homo, he asserted, Paranthropus, based on anatomy, were in a phylogenetic limbo. Were the Paranthropus, like Lucy, Australopithecus afarensis, or their own separate hominid taxa? And what was the relationship with Paranthropus and our own genus Homo, if any? Do some modern human populations carry Paranthropus DNA admixture? These mysteries may have just been solved with the release of a new paper. Enamel proteins reveal biological sex and genetic variability within southern parameters. The paper has an impressive array of co-authors, 38 signers in all. They include Enrico Capellini of the University of Copenhagen, Ionis Patramanis, Frito Velker, and Rebecca Acker. Capellini is best known for having sequenced the DNA of an 800,000-year-old Homo antecessor in Spain in 2020. The researchers examined DNA proteins recovered from four paranthropus at Swartkrans, including DNA from tooth enamel on two specimens. From Nature.com, July 10, 2023, researchers have gleaned genetic information from an African hominid that lived two million years ago, the oldest data yet recovered. Continuing, pushing back the genetic record to times and places previously unthinkable, scientists say. Quote, it is an amazing result, end quote, says Katarina Duca, archaeologist, Max Planck Institute. To put this in perspective, a decade ago, the oldest DNA they had been able to recover was from a 400,000-year-old Neanderthal in Spain. Now they have recovered DNA proteins from 2 million years ago. Discovery of Paranthropus. From AustraliaMuseum.com. The genus Paranthropus currently includes three species, Paranthropus boisei, Aethiopicus, and Robustus, with their large jaws and molar teeth. From the Smithsonian, Paranthropus aethiopicus is still very much a mystery to paleoanthropologists. The discovery of the black skull in 1985 helped define the species protruding face, megadon teeth, powerful jaw. The first Paranthropus was discovered in 1936 by an eccentric fossil hunter named Robert Broom. Dr. Broom made the discoveries at the Comdry Cave, not far from Swart Cross. Broom was a medical doctor in a small farming community in rural South Africa. A schoolboy had found some fossilized teeth. Broom went to the kid's school. The boy led him to the cave. Within hours, Broom had found a partially complete Paranthropus skull. Broom had been friends with anatomy professor Raymond Dart, who had discovered the Tong child, Australopithecus, in 1926. The two decided to call the new find Paranthropus. In 1959, Mary Leakey, out exploring with her Dalmatians, spotted a skull of Paranthropus boisei on a hillside at Old Dubai Gorge, Tanzania. Lewis and Mary named the specimen Zinge for short. In 1969, Lewis and Mary's son Richard found a near-perfect Paranthropus skull at Kubifora, Kenya, K-N-M-E-R-406. -E 
miraculous fossil discovery during a Tanzania thunderstorm. The Leakey Foundation continued extensive research at Old Dubai Gorge and nearby sites in Tanzania in the 2010s. Professor of Anthropology at Queens College, New York, Thomas Plummer, led yearly excavations in Tanzania. In 2017, his team at Niyanga site made an amazing discovery. The team uncovered a bevy of ancient hippo bones dated 2.7 million years ago. In the middle of a downpour, eagle-eyed team member Blasto Anyango spotted two hominin teeth, later determined to, to be Paranthropus. The teeth were found with stone tools, dated 2.7 million years ago, indicating that Paranthropus was a stone toolmaker, not just Homo habilis. The hippo bones had shown signs of butchery. From PBS.org, February 2023. Early humans were picking up tools on their own, researchers said. Extinct cousins like Paranthropus with their big teeth and small brains. Cleveland Natural History Museum curator Emma Feinstone was nearly struck by lightning that day. Feinstone at science.org, quote, when we found the Paranthropus molar, it got real exciting, end quote. A major shift in the human family tree? Paranthropus joining Lucy and Homo habilis on the path to Homo sapiens? For decades, the greatest paleoanthropologists debated on where to stick the three Paranthropus species, with Australopithecines or a side branch. For example, Australian Museum noted Paranthropus are our distant cousins rather than directly related. None of these species is considered a direct ancestor of Homo sapiens. Now with the discovery of the two million year old Paranthropus DNA, all the great paleoanthropology books will need revisions and some websites will need to be corrected. DNA link to modern Africans? Capellini, Nature, July 2023. Building a genetic tree from genetic data from such old remains, quote, can be considered a potentially transformative breakthrough for paleoanthropology, end quote. Continuing, ancient protein studies could improve understanding of where Australopithecus afarensis, Lucy, sits in the human family tree. The researchers found a genetic similarity in line with close morphology between Paranthropus robustus and Australopithecus africanus, and between Paranthropus ethiopicus and Australopithecus afarensis. Another intriguing find. Capellini and crew float the possibility of a mysterious fourth Paranthropus branch, SK. 835. They position the hominid on their chart closest to the genus Homo. In 2020, a UCLA genetics team of Sriram Sakuraraman and Arun Dervasula confirmed up to 19% archaic hominid DNA admixture in modern Africa. Many South Africans have distinct morphological features similar to Paranthropus, such as flaring zygomatic cheekbones.
could Capolini's SK-835 or one of the other three be the mysterious missing link from Paranthropus to modern Africans? Another possibility. Lee Berger has hinted at finding Homo naledi DNA. Is naledi just a modern Paranthropus? Stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.